Hey everyone, good morning. You know the expression, if you can't beat them, join them. Well, uh, all of you who have been working from home all of these months and had your kids right by your side, you'll know what I'm referencing. I have my lovely assistant, Rickley, here joining me this morning because we are hoping that you are in the mood to have uh, you know, a fun, colorful project to do as a family with the kids because let's face it, <laughs> spending time creating things together is just a really fun, meaningful way to connect. We have some of our best conversations when we create things together, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> And what I love about this project, we call this Making Faces, Yes, right? and there's one thing you should never do with the face. What? That all went to a, a staring contest. It always wins. It always wins. That's right. <laughs> Unless you make it with its eyes closed, then you Ooh, always win. There you go. All right. Well, we're making faces, and what we love about making faces together um, is the fact that this is just a really fun opportunity for you to have some great conversations about differences. You get to explore moods. Uh, you come up with some really cool ways to create all kinds of different personalities uh, and different expressions. So we're going to share with you how we like to go about making faces at our house. And because we've yeah. made a lot of faces it's over the years, haven't we? Yes, we have um, all of these on a wall. And so, and it's packed. I don't think we can fit one more thing. No, on we there. have lots of faces. We've had a lot because Maddie's done a lot. You have, so we've got quite you a few. You can even put mine on the wall. Yes. Yeah. Oh well, it's it's on its way. <laughs> so the first thing it's, you want to do. It's getting shipped. Yes, is get some inspiration going. So if you have some books on just drawing faces, uh, cartooning books are great. They give you some great examples. Or you of, could, or you could just um do anything you want. Like if you've seen something from a show, like. A little nice show that you've seen that you like the person in it, you could draw that too. Yeah, yep. Characters from shows. We love to do an inspiration board, um, print off all kinds of just different fun faces that everybody picks out. <laughs> gives you something to look at and be inspired to come up with your own style and different ways of doing some of your faces. And then once you have all of your inspiration in place, uh, you're ready to gather up some canvases. And for canvases, uh, again, work with what you have. We love, I love working on um, squares. Littler ones. Littler squares. I like you, working on bigger ones because it gives me more room to do what I want. Yeah, you just need more wall space. But if you do smaller ones, you can create a really cool grouping and collection and it doesn't take up quite as much space. But wood is a really great background for this project because you can sand on it and you can uh, you know have some fun with it the that way. The smaller ones are just harder to draw on. Yeah you don't have as much room so I wouldn't start maybe with the small one. That's a good point. If you were like five or something. Yeah would, bigger space. If you're five it I would start with one like this or something. Yes because, very good point. Because you're not gonna have enough room on these like I was little and I think I drew one of these. I can, like this one, I didn't have enough room. Yeah, you're kind of confined. So start with bigger ones for the smaller kids and then you can work your way into these smaller canvases. Yes. But the first step that you want to do um, is to paint your background. And yes. this is a, a great way for the kids to just play around with moving color, creating different designs and patterns in the colors that they choose. And then once you have your backgrounds all painted, um, then you're ready. You're going to let those dry and then yes. you're going to come back in and start adding all of your uh, faces and your different features and all of the detail that comes into that. You've got oh. some good backgrounds going on yes, over here. I mean, that one's going to be fun. This one, ew. get off the board. And then you can kind of, you can sand things down if you want to create some other texture in we there and distress I it. I made a little checkerboard one. That's going to be a great background for a face. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to draw on it, the face on it. Okay, I've got this one. Very nice. And so while I was drawing, I did this one and I let it dry and then I made this one. And while I'm letting that one dry, I made that one. So I'm just going to let them all dry. Right. Dry so you can kind of keep things moving. So give everybody a few different canvases that and you can work on. And then once you're done with your last one, I bet one of them will probably like dry like a simple one like this would probably be dry better. But a non-simple one like this or something like, take a little bit that longer. has a like more 3D type shape are going to take a little longer. Yep. Thicker paints. Thicker paints, longer dry time. And then once yes. you have all your faces done, you need to um, have a, I hold them up and then the kids will look at them and we've got to give them names. So it's, and you gotta have wet, wet wipes. You gotta give them the, you gotta have wet wipes. That's right. It's kind of messy. But uh, the kids come up with the best names for all of these faces, and they are always very fitting. Uh, yes. This is the latest one Berkeley did it's a while Dr. back. Dr. J. Errington. Dr. J. Errington. And if you look at him, he really does look like Dr. J. Errington. We put a lot of labels. Yeah, we really let the people know what his name is. But yeah. all of our faces, they all have names. Put them together in a really cool grouping in the kids' room in the hallway somewhere. Um, but 
but they just, they bring you a lot of joy. They make you smile when you walk by um, and look at them. And plus we have a great time <laughs> actually uh, coming together and working on them. So you can create your own wall of fame and we promise you it will be loaded with character.